All right, people. So finally, NTA has posted on their official website. That is, we say what is going to be the cutoff for NEET 2024. Okay. So there are different people out there who are predicting the cutoff. But finally, we have this NTA's PDF in front of us, which was recently released. And this is the press release. My dear friends, listen to me very carefully. Different bodies in the upcoming time, they will have to follow this cutoff, okay? Because this is official, be it NMC or be it the other bodies, they'll have to follow this properly, okay? And most importantly, you'll have to keep your eye, whatever I say in this particular video. And most importantly, let me just tell you, when it comes to the AIR1, okay? There are 67 people, okay, who are getting we say AIR1. And we say after that, you are getting basically the next ranks, next ranks. We'll be discussing that also. Also over here so my dear friends this is going to be an important video make sure you share this with all of your friends out there so first thing let me just tell you you will basically find this PDF on the NTA's official website also so the, in the first page it is mentioning that number of candidates who appeared in the NEET 2020 2019 examination like we say 15 lakh students were in the NEET 2020 19 2019 in 2020 we say 15 lakh in 2021, we say 16 lakh students appeared. Similarly, in NEET 2022, we say 18 lakh students appeared. In 2023, we say 20 lakh students. And in 2024, we know that 24 lakh students appeared in the examination. Sir, according to this, this is the complete data we have in front of us. What and how many number of students are going to appear in the NEET 2025? Definitely, we can expect 27 to 28 lakh students who are going to appear in the NEET 2024 examination. And my dear friends, then we have over here the number of candidates who were present in the examination, who gave the examination. Like we have, we have, we say for 2024, 23 lakh students, okay, who gave the examination in 2024 and 24 lakh students appeared, okay, maybe because of there are a lot of students, okay, who had some problem at that point of time, they were not able to give the exam. So now, and every single thing you can basically see over here, what are the other details? And most importantly, my dear friends, let's take a look over here. Let's take a look over here. What we need to see, what we need to see, okay, just a second. Now, now. Let's take a look in this particular case. Yeah, we have got over here. See, when it comes to the qualifying marks, I have recently told you, sir, qualifying marks are those marks. Qualifying marks are those marks by which you can sit in the, we say, counseling so that you can appear for the uh, BA, uh, MS or BHMS or we say uh, PDS or you can apply for the private medical college seat also. So like previously in the NEET 2023, we say the qualifying marks were 137. Okay. If there are students out there who are looking to basically go abroad for the uh, MBBS course. Okay. And I say if they are getting less than, see, see, today, like in NEET 2024, we, it is basically 164. If they are getting less than 164 in general category, means they cannot go, they cannot do the MBBS over there because qualifying score is mandatory. So we say directly the rise is, we say over here, that is 164. And when it comes to the marks range over here, that is 137 was the qualifying score in, in we say NEET 2023. And right now it has become 164 and similarly you can see over here 107 107 107 in which category you can see over here that is obc sc st you can see previously it was 107 107 107 okay and the number of candidates that appeared was 1014 uh, uh, 74372 and similarly over here this is the qualifying score in in we say need 2024 okay and, and the number of candidates who are getting this qualifying score is we say over here 116594 and similarly the one ones who are getting 129 so that is this one you can definitely check it over here now my dear friends let's move on to the next one so basically this is the state wise uh, how many number of students appeared in the NEET 2024 examinations okay like you can see in the different different states how many are registered appeared and qualified and now my dear friends take a look over here take a look over here when we take a look at the results my dear friends in this particular case you can see like we have got the first candidate over here this candidate is having the rank one means he is getting 720 out of 720 that's why over here it's mentioned rank one so this also so you can clearly see directly till 23 over here all of these students are getting 720 out of 720 now if we move on to the next page these students also these students also are getting we say rank one rank one 
over here it is clearly mentioned. So we have crossed the 53 and afterwards we say these students are also basically uh, uh, getting, we say, we say rank 1, rank 1, up to, up to what, up to what. You can clearly see over here 67, up to 67 student. So all of these are getting, we say sir, rank 1. And directly after this, after this, when it comes to the 68th student, we are seeing over here, it is not mentioned the rank 2, it is mentioned the rank 68, rank 68. So for the first 67 students, they have given the rank 1 this year and we say for the 68th student, he is getting the 68th rank, okay? So my dear friends, you can definitely see the competition has increased. This is extremely huge, okay? This is extremely shocking for the first time in the history. They, we say 67 students are getting AIR1. Okay, all of these will be, will be in the, in the aims, okay. So it is difficult for that student even who are getting 710 marks, it is difficult for him to enter the aims daily this year. So that's why we say competition is rising every single year. You have to be extremely strong. You have to be extremely strong. And similarly, see over here up to 100, we say the data is given over here. Okay. So this was basically all about it, my dear friends. Now the question is, sir, what is going to be the cutoff that we are expecting this year? What is going to be the uh, cutoff that, that according to this data, which is mentioned over here, let me just show you when it comes to the cutoff. See, whatever was in your state previously, listen to me very carefully. We say, let's suppose <coughs> in your state, it was 600. Definitely, that's for sure. This year, it is going to increase by this year it is going to increase by we say 30 marks and you can expect we say sir 635 will be the cutoff this year 635 will be 630 to 35 will be the cutoff in that state if you were basically if you are basically getting 600 in your state previously so we say cutoff has increased extremely huge sir what about the next year next year it will rise once again in the need 2025 so this is going to be the cutoff that we are expecting this year. Okay, so all the very best. And my dear friends, if there are students out there who are looking to take the drop, okay, they have taken the drop and they are looking to uh, basically enroll in the course in which they, they, they get the full guidance. We say we have recently launched, we say Phoenix, Phoenix 2.0, Phoenix 2.0. The link of this Phoenix 2.0 is in the description below. We will be teaching you completely each and every single thing in this batch. So take care and bye-bye. Make sure you share this video with all of your friends out there. Take care and bye-bye. Thank you.